Hi, Brian from Airflow Music here. Welcome back to another video. Um, the astute among you notes that I'm in a different place. Um, not back in the studio in New York. I'm actually traveling right now, visiting family in England. And so this is my opportunity to kind of get used to being out in the world again after so many months, over a year in lockdown and being quarantined and what have you. This is my first trip on a plane, first international trip in something like 16 or 17 months. So uh, really glad to be out in the world, but I'm reminded almost every day as I've been here, I've been here for about a week now, that I've forgotten how to do a lot of stuff I used to do all the time, relating to traveling, also relating to practice. And so this is just gonna be a short video, believe it or not, despite the rambling introduction. Uh, but these are what I'm calling my notes to self because these are just reminders for me as much as anything else for things that I need to check out and remember to do because they really help okay so the first one is I'm traveling right now I am practicing every day but I am mostly practicing with the dreaded practice mute in the horn um, you know as we know this is sometimes a, a necessary evil for people and you know, some people get on well with practice music, but most of us find them restrictive. Um, it can be very much a different experience practicing with them. And I was reminded just in the last few days of a tip that I've shared before, but I needed to be reminded of because I was getting hung up, really finding myself struggling with the resistance of the horn with the practice mute in it feeling like my shots were getting a little out of balance and so I remembered that to get good results from practicing with a practice mute there's a very simple thing you can do and it involves taking one earplug if you put an earplug in when you play with a practice mute all of a sudden you can hear yourself and a lot of the problems with the practice mute come when you're practicing and you know you're trying to hear yourself rather than feeling where you're at. And so putting a, an earplug in one ear will really help you out because all of a sudden you can hear kind of through bone conduction inside your head what's going on a little bit. Um, and it makes it a lot easier to practice with. So this was something I reminded myself of this week. It's been super helpful. My chops are feeling much better as a result. And this video has already gone on way too long for such a short tip. But anyway, it's one, one I wanted to remind myself of as much as you. So it's a note to self. Um, anyway, there's been a few of these things on my mind as I've been away this week. So I'll probably drop back in with another video like this shortly. In the meantime, um, I'll see you in another one soon. If this has been helpful, please hit the like button. And I'll see you in another video before long. Until then, you know what to do. Go practice.